preventing pregnancy-related deaths by expanding health care coverage. It's something sorely needed here in Cuyahoga County with one of the highest infant death rates in the country for 50 years, according to First Year Cleveland. And you know, it's not just newborns at risk. Maternal mortality rates are also on the rise in Ohio with black women dying during birth two and a half to two, three and a half times more often than white women. So tonight, News 5 State House reporter Morgan Trout shows us how this Medicaid expansion could impact moms and moms to be here in Northeast Ohio. I'm excited to see her. I'm very impatient. It's been eight long months for this expecting mother in Cleveland. Now I'm tired and I'm like, I'm kind of ready for it to be over. Dariana Lorenzi Sutton is about to have her first baby and she's looking forward to jumping into postnatal care. She says support from her family and the Pregnant with Possibilities Resource Center have helped her move smoothly through her pregnancy. It is important for us to make sure that our clients have positive birth outcomes. The organization's executive director, Veranda Rogers, helps serve about 250 pregnant families each year, focusing on black, brown, and underserved populations. State data shows black women have twice the number of birth complications as white women, and they have less access to prenatal, birth, and postnatal resources. I'm a temp at my job. If I have no Medicaid, I won't have insurance. I don't know how I was going to pay to have a baby. But Medicaid's pregnancy coverage only lasted for a couple of months. Well, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services just approved Ohio to extend postpartum coverage from 60 days to an entire year. Medicaid says about 21,000 people are now eligible in Ohio, and Lorenzi Sutton is one of them. It is a way for us to be able to ensure that families are supported for longer periods of time and they're not having to worry about their basic needs being met. While this is a great step, Rogers says there is still so much work that needs to be done to lessen racial disparities, such as addressing systemic racism, educating women about warning signs and to take them seriously, and requiring an expanding paid leave from work. But this is a positive start for women like Lorenzi Sutton. It's like, okay, at least I got time to like pick this stuff out a little bit more than I did before, so yeah. Mm -hmm. The 60 days isn't that long. The extension will cover behavioral health care, such as postpartum depression, family planning, and chronic disease management. Lorenzi Sutton says she's worried about PPD, so having more time is a huge relief. I'm Morgan Trout, News 5. Such good news in the Ohio past. Uh, the Ohio House recently passed a bill to have Medicaid cover other pregnancy related services. Now, the legislation would provide Medicaid coverage for licensed doula services. Advocates say doula care can result in lower rates of preterm births and deaths. The bill will head to the Senate this fall. Speaking of preterm births, medical intervention for extremely premature babies in the U.S. has jumped. Researchers from Ohio State found the proportion of preterm infants who received active treatment rose nearly 4% each year from 2014 to 2020. And there are gaps among different racial and ethnic groups as well. Infants born to mothers of historically marginalized racial and ethnic groups were significantly less likely to receive treatment, things like assisted ventilation or antibiotics. Researchers say more work is needed to understand the reason behind those disparities.